Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Chris Gaysford and in today's video we're going to be getting back into Home Assistant. And I know it's been a few weeks since I've made a Home Assistant video and you guys have probably just assumed I've given up on the whole Home Assistant stuff but believe me I haven't. What actually happened was my Home Assistant was unplugged for a few days, weeks. Um, as I was trying to move some stuff around, but I now have some stuff plugged in and a new socket plugged into my crawl space underneath my stairs. So I now have a new place for my home assistant to live. So it is now powered back up and I'm ready to get right back in. Um, I missed a few pretty big milestones for home assistant while I was offline from it. Um, there's been a few new releases for Home Assistant that do have some major vulnerability updates. If you have not installed those yet and you're a Home Assistant user, go install those. It's definitely going to be better for your security overall. I can't recommend it enough. What we're going to be doing today is hooking up our Home Assistant with Simply Safe. Um, I am not sponsored by any means with Simply Safe, but they are the home security system that I use. Um, and there's a few reasons why I have gone with Simply Safe over some of the other competitors. But if you are using Home Assistant and you are looking for a home security system, Simply Safe is great because they do have an API that you can tie into your Home Assistant, which means you can automatically turn on your alarm or turn off your alarm um, or set schedules or whatever you want to do through Home Assistant instead of the Simply Safe app. Um, Home Assistant definitely gives you more control than the Simply Safe app does out of the box. And you just want a way to schedule your alarms or anything like that, Home Assistant could be a great option for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into Home Assistant here. Um, it's been a while, you still see we just have our two door locks here, but um, previously in the olden days of Home Assistant to add something like Simply Save, we would have gone to our file editor and our configured configuration.yaml file. And it would have looked like this, something along the lines of us saying, simply save, calling out a username and password to actually make the integration here. But um, without doing any research and not knowing what I'm talking about at all, um, I think it would be safe to assume that this is probably the wrong place to do it nowadays. Um, what the approach Home Assistant has been going with super easy integrations i would imagine if we just come back over to our integrations page here all right and so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to add integration and then if i am making a good assumption here yep we should see simply safe right there um it's going to ask for our email password and code and then it says used in home assistant ui um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that one blank, mostly because I'm not really sure what it's referring to. Like I did mention, I haven't read the documentation on this. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my email and password here. All right, so now that I have my e email and my password in, like I said, I'm going to leave the go ahead and leave the code blank. I'm going to go ahead and press submit. All right, so now it says that I need to go ahead and check my email to verify that. Oh, I'm, I'm still waiting for the multi-factor authentication email. So let me just hop on my phone here real quick and do that. All right, so I took a little while there, but I finally got that email and I have verified this device. So now if I hit submit, it should just add that integration for us. And there we go. And so you could actually see all the doors and everything like that coming through with Simply Safe here. That is looking great. And it's telling me I can't update Chrome, which is uh, another issue. So I'm going to go ahead and mark all the areas for these devices in my Home Assistant home. Um, most of them aren't associated with any rooms yet, but this will give me a chance to create them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I've gone ahead and added those 11 devices now. Um, just kind of put them into the rooms they're currently in for my home assistant. Um, let's go over to our overview here. And what we should be able to do is we should be able to add a Simply Safe card. So let's go ahead and click on the three dots in the corner here. We're going to edit our dashboard, add a card, and there we go. Um, so we have our alarm panel here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And I'm gonna go ahead and modify the text here. And just call it simply safe alarm. And then it's only giving us home and away. Um, but if I want to dis disarm it right here, so we have home, away, night, and custom bypass. So I'm going to go ahead and select the custom bypass. I'm assuming that's going to turn off the alarm. Um, if it doesn't, I will lead in note or something here but now that we've done that and we save it we now have a simply safe alarm here on our home assistant and so let's go ahead and get out of this editing here so right from our home assistants we now can go arm home arm away and custom bypass and so let's go ahead and actually set up a animation regarding these arm home and arm away stuff because for me personally at least um, I'm not leaving my house after let's say 10 o'clock at night and so let's go ahead and assume I want to turn on an alarm for simply safe automatically at 10 o'clock at night so I'm gonna go ahead and start with an empty automation and we're gonna go ahead and call it Arm simply safe, um, single, and the triggers is gonna be a time, and it's gonna be a fixed time, and we're gonna set it to 10, and this might be, and this time field here is army time. So 10 o'clock would actually be like 2200 hours. Okay. And then no conditions here and the action. So we're going to go ahead and select call service. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to find alarm control panel arm home. Right there. So it says alarm control panel arm home. Okay. And then we should just be able to save that there. And just like that, we've created our first actual automation in Home Assistant. I know we've been doing a few of these videos now, and this is actually our first automation. So that's pretty exciting. It's going to arm simply save every night at 10 o'clock now um, on clockwork, basically. I don't have to do anything fancy or special to do that now. So one of the many reasons I do like Simply Safe, especially in the Home Assistant realm of things, um, is because I have access to all my Simply Safe sensors and everything like that. So inside the normal Simply Safe app, it's really hard to tell if doors are opened or closed or shut or anything like that. But because of the Simply Safe API that has opened up to Home Assistant, you actually get all that reporting through Home Assistant. So if I actually go into the Simply Safe integration here into our devices, I have all my doors and my smoke detectors and everything like that my motion detectors here inside of home assistant and so if we just click on let me go ahead and rename this device real quick okay and so if we actually go ahead and click on any of these doors so if we go and look for entry here in our front door um, we can actually see the door is closed and the battery levels for each of these devices, which, in my opinion, is really cool that Simply Safe offers that. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave this video off. Um, if you like what I'm doing here, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you're a fan of Simply Safe, hit the like button, or maybe this has convinced you to get Simply Safe. Hit that like button, that would be great. Like I mentioned a few times in the, throughout the video, they are not sponsored, but because of um, their willingness to work inside of Home Assistant and everything like that, um, it's definitely hard not to recommend them. 
um, especially because it's just that little extra added security. I mean, you can set up all the entry and door sensors yourself through um, Zigbee and anything like that and get alerts on your phone when something does happen. But this way, if you don't have your phone, you're out camping, or if anything bad does happen, you know Simply Safe has your back. I know I make a lot of promises to make videos, but I'm gonna really, really try to make another video super soon. Um, so definitely stick around, guys. I, I, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.